Welcome to the first tutorial about the Kara 3D Basics. We will look at the interface elements this time. Here you can see the basic interface when you start Kara for the first time. Here is the initial window. You can hit next or previous button to see more tips or news about Kara. You can close it or set to skip from now so it will not open again next time you start Kara. This is the main window without any project opened. You can start something from the file menu, a new scene, opening some scene or preset scene. In this side you can see the buttons for all rooms in Kara. The hand is where we are. The assembler room. The wrench is the model room. The pencil is the storyboard room, where you can adjust animations. The brush is the shader room where you set the surface attributes for objects. And the film is the render room, where your objects and settings become pixels in a final image. In the bottom of the screen we can find the browser tab, where all components that we need to create a scene lives. Complete scenes, objects, shaders, clips and poser content, that for a new installation is empty. Let's start a new clean scene. From the file menu, hit new, to open the scene wizard. Here you can choose to open a preset scene or use the landscape wizard, to create you first scene. For now we will only create an empty scene with the medium size. Here is the complete Kara interface. The browser tab, is now down the sequencer tab, where animation lives. Using keyframes, you can give life to your objects here. Here in the top, the icons for the new 3D paint tools, other modular tools and the icon to start physics calculation. Here are the primitives objects. Those are your start point for almost everything that you create here in the 3D world. Spheres, text, volumetrics, particles and many other options. Now the 3D object manipulation tools, to select, move, stretch and rotate your objects. Camera tools. You can change the position in the viewport with those tools here. The 2D pan, and 2D zoom, to adjust your production frame view, and plus the test render tool, that is this little camera icon. The main window is called documents window, and is where you set up all scene components like objects, lights and particles. The grid can be turned on, and off, from the top menu at any time you want. This little menu control the camera names. You can change your view to better organize your scene, and place your instances. Director's camera, is the main view where you can rotate, zoom, without changing your the real camera position. This is the default empty scene and this little yellow icon is a distant light. As you can see there are simple projections, to determine its position in the grid. You can work in more than one view at same time, using the view controls. Now the place where you control how the objects look in the viewport. Object view controls. Any object added to the scene appears in the instance window. At same time, when you click in any object the properties train, change to reflect all settings for that object. The properties train, is composed with many tabs, that add more control over the object, like motion, modifiers and effects.
Look how the content in every tab change from object to object. In the instance window, we have a common instance. Scene. Here you control things like sky, background, backdrop, displayed unit, scene dimension and other things like the physics server. The instance window have some other tabs too. Let's add something to the scene only to show more. Just click and drag the object to the documents window. The objects tab list all objects in the scene. When you select one, the properties train change so you can have more control over the selection. Other tabs for the shaders. Sounds and clips can help you set up those instances too. Now you know a little more about the Kara interface. Thanks for watching this tutorial.